Y'all ready to get the show back going again, everybody? You ready for your next contestant? Your next contestant in the Houston's Funniest Person Contest, please welcome Diane Gallagher. Hello. Good looking crowd. All right, so I went and got a spray tan because I wanted to look nice for you guys. But I think I paid too much for it because by the look and smell of it, I think it was just Dorito dust. I'm smelly is what I'm saying. Hey you guys, tomorrow is my two year wedding anniversary. All right, thank you. I'm gonna tell you, it's only been two years, but I've learned a couple of things about what makes a marriage work and what makes it good. And I'm gonna share it with you. Uh, first thing, six little words. There are six little words that couples need to tell each other every day for the rest of their lives. Not three, I know what you're thinking. Six. The six words are, don't go in there right now. <laughs> don't go in there right now. You know why? Because we share enough, don't we? Honestly, if you do something really nasty in there and you see your loved one going towards the door and you're like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> Chances are you're not sharing anything anymore. Nothing. Uh, second thing, guys, don't be lazy. Help each other out. Come on, seriously. Uh, nothing pisses me off more than when my husband comes up with some lame excuse as to why he's not helping me out with like chores or cleaning and stuff. And it reminds me of this, there's this quote by super famous astronomer and scientist Carl Sagan, where he says, if you wish to make an apple pie out of scratch, you must first invent the universe. Where you know in the background his wife is like, Go to the grocery store, Carl. God, I just needed like flour and sugar and you're all with this universe shit. I'm just saying marriage is hard. It's a lot of hard work. I don't even have kids and it's really hard. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am not against adding more women to this marriage. I'm not, I've talked to my husband about it. I mean, I got rules. Don't get me wrong, like she can't be hotter than me. <laughs> She's got to weigh a lot more. <laughs> and she's got to be able to cook and clean and give a good blowjob. That's all. <laughs> I'll even interview her. I'm like, all right, we have, uh, let's see, Chech uh, Helga from Chechnya. Helga, you're just a big girl. I like that. <laughs> all right. Um, well, your qualifications look great. Uh, uh, you know, looks like you've been cooking and cleaning your whole life. Um, love the way you iron those shirts. That's perfect. That's how I would do it. Um, listen, Helga, about the blowjob thing. Look, I'll still do it on birthdays and anniversaries, <laughs> but you know, the nights when he goes out boozing with the guys, like lots of whiskey, and he comes in like, what's that? I'm gonna need you to take that one. Because you see, as head wife, I'm not gonna be giving that kind of head anymore. But listen, don't worry about it. When he comes in in that state, he's gonna fall asleep halfway through. You just walk out, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so everything looks good. Um, oh, one more thing, how much do you weigh again? Three hundo, what's up, give me up top. <laughs> good job, let's go get that green card. I like you. Uh, honestly, I don't know why so many women are against polygamy. When you think about it, uh, every little girl has what, 20 Barbies and one Ken? How did we not all grow up thinking that that was okay? So I'm on a diet, because I'm a girl and I, that's what we do. And uh, I always think about Kate Moss, super skinny Kate Moss, uh, supermodel once said, nothing tastes as good as being skinny feels. Meaning, she's a dumb bitch who's never had a honey butter chicken biscuit. Am I right? I love food, who loves food? Let's hear it for food. You know, I'm not gonna say that I'm a foodie, but I know what tastes good. And you can't tell me that peanut butter on a spoon and red wine out of a coffee cup doesn't pair well. <laughs> All right. God, I love food. Okay, I know this is really weird, but I'm gonna tell you this real quick. Um, I like to keep cookbooks in my restroom. I don't know, it's a weird thing. Like the magazines that I have in there are, um, like Taste of Home and Bon Appetit. And I know that's a weird thing, but it's even weirder for the person on the other side of the restroom door that has to hear me say things like, oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> Don't come in here right now. Thank you guys, I'm Diane. Enjoy the rest of the show.
One more time, everybody, for Diane Gallagher. Let's hear it for Diane. <laughs> so I do appreciate all of you very much for coming out here, and I'd like to say a very special thank you from the Houston Comedy Union to the nice people here at the House of Blues for putting on this show tonight. Nice round of applause for the people here at House of Blues, everybody.